Happy Fox First Day. You know, you've probably seen the commercial. This one? Yeah, the one showing the doggies with dentures. Ask any dog owner and they will tell you caring for their dog's teeth is no laughing matter. And no dog has teeth that really look like that. There are several things you can do to freshen up your doggie's breath. Thank goodness Dr. Heather Lenzer is here to tell us. This is dog... Dental National Pet Dental Pet. Health Month. We have a whole month for this because it's such wow. a big deal. It really is. And, what, and what, it's not just about clean teeth. It's, it's not, more than that. It's not. 80% of dogs and cats over the age of three have dental disease. Wow. And that means they're suffering with bacteria and inflammation mm. in their mouth. So, uh, and with this, if this can lead to other illnesses. It can. The bacteria and all the gross inflammation, that can actually, in theory, spread throughout the body to go Ooh. to the heart and the kidneys. Ooh. And that can shorten an animal's life. Well, how do we tell if our dog has it? The biggest sign is actually bad breath. So if I let you oh. smell zipper and you back away, no doggy breath. Then it's not normal to have bad breath. I thought Both doggy breath was normal. It's not. Okay. That you're smelling that gross, disgusting bacteria, Look, so and that bacteria is in there making the teeth loose and painful. And now these dogs are really sore and uncomfortable. So it's not just a. It's actually a painful quality of life thing. And can any vet diagnose this? We can. Yeah. So just okay. bring them in. A vet should. Animals should be seen once a year and have their veterinarian take a good close look in their mouth and look for signs of red gums, swelling, and sometimes we even pick up mouth cancer at the vet too. So wow. do be sure that your vet looks in their That's mouth. That's a good idea. Now, uh, many of us have tried to brush our dog's teeth and the dog said, nope, chomp. And uh, what do we do about that? It's true. Well, I'm going to go over a couple of quick tips, but okay. also on Facebook today, on the American Animal Hospital's Facebook page, there's a beautiful article about tons and tons of great ideas of how to get your teeth, their, their teeth brushed. Oh, we'll have to get that on our page too. Good. I follow you on Facebook. I know you do. So, All right, so this is Zipper. This is Zipper, and the big thing to start out with is make sure they're comfortable getting your fingers in their mouths. How you so Zipper's pretty cool with that. Okay. And there's tons of different implements. We can use toothbrushes. We can use these soft finger brushes. Oh. But what I like to start off with, actually, is pantyhose. Believe what? it or not. Yes. <laughs> Because it's nice and soft, still has a little bit of abrasiveness to it. And there is it. doggy toothpaste. And this stuff is actually beef flavored. Don't Yum. use people toothpaste. Okay. That can have some gross stuff in it okay. that can hurt them. Lift up their lip and then start scrubbing. And you want to get between their gums and their teeth. Look how good he's being. And the be very far back yes. teeth are the ones that, are the, that have the most tartar. Right. Just like people. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So that was a piece of cake. She was cool with that. Okay. Now what about Calvin, your dog, well, I who may not like that? Well, there's some, you're right, there's some dogs and cats that don't. So I found a whole bunch of great ideas that you can use at home. The key thing here is there's tons of products out there that say they help with teeth. Right. But you want to get something that's approved by the Veterinary Oral it's Health Council. a little Council. thingy right there. And okay. we might be putting that up on the screen too. Veterinary Oral, that's there it right is. there. Look for okay. that seal. And there's a whole bunch, there's treats, there's chews, there's stuff you can add to the water. And all of this stuff helps decrease plaque and tartar in I'm their gonna mouth. I'm going to try it on Calvin. Calvin loves it. Okay, Calvin, now do we make him sip? And that would be great. Treat. Yep, and Cooper's going to get one, Sit. too. Did he go? Oh, good boy. And so a lot of these products are actually And that's going to help his teeth. It is, because those big kibbles, they're huge, big kibbles, like almost the size of golf balls. Well, and they have to crunch down on it, to, and that helps get rid of the tartar. So I do recommend, because now we're out of time, of course, Dr. Mm -hmm. Heather, there's always more information that we have time for, is that you follow Dr. Heather on Facebook, and you'll have links to all these other good things. I will. And guess what? We're going to put it on our page, too, fox29.com. Thank Thanks. you. Bye, Zimmer. Thanks, Zim. Thanks, Calvin. Thanks so much. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm not finished with you people yet. <laughs> I'm getting huh. crafty for your kids. A Valentine Day idea you can take to school tomorrow, and you will be the hit of the classroom. It's pin this. Up.